Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your Outlook for February 26, 2016. We're going to have high pressure that's going to be moving in from our southwest today. This is going to set up the next couple of days to be uh, mostly sunny. We're actually expecting mostly sunny skies straight through uh, next week and until we get to about Wednesday, and I'll show you that. Uh, in this uh, in this video outlook here, but we are going to have colder temperatures uh, both today and tomorrow. Going to be below normal both days. Uh, temperatures are going to be stuck in the mid 30s across our central areas, and uh, give or take a few degrees north and south here. But uh, so be the colder day, uh, two days will be today. We'll also have a, a northwest wind that will be a little bit breezy at times, gust up to 30 miles per hour, which will make it feel a little bit colder. Uh, Saturday is going to be much of the same, except we're going to get the winds down a little bit. Temperatures go up a couple degrees, but uh, still hanging below normal for this time of year. And then uh, Sunday, they, we're going to be changing uh, the tides a little bit. We're going to have uh, temperatures increasing. Uh, we have a system that's moving off, off to our north here in this direction here, and the same time a ridge building here. Uh, in the east, so that's going to allow temperatures to increase quite a bit from what they were on Saturday to Sunday. So Sunday, while you might be hanging right around 40, you might be up in the mid-50s by the time we get to Sunday. So big difference. Uh, better the two days, of course, will be on Sunday for outdoor activities. And then uh, as we get into uh, Monday, we're going to have a warm day again. That's because you're having uh, a cold front. This is that same system moved up, moved across uh, the southeastern Canada into northern New England here. Has a cold front with it as well uh, along this cold front. Uh, will be a few light showers. Doubtful that we get any of this, but we're not gonna. We, we took them out of the forecast grids as far as uh, ch chances for precipitation with this. Uh, but uh, would not be surprised to see an isolated shower with this. Temperatures out ahead of this front as it usually is. Southwesterly winds will bring in warm temperatures again here on Monday. But I go to the next frame here, it kind of disappears. So uh, we're looking at the precipitation kind of dissipating as it falls southeast. So the front does go through, uh, but it doesn't uh, do much to disrupt temperatures. Temperatures only drop back a little bit here on Tuesday, call it a partly cloudy day. And then we're going to be watching closely here for uh, for Wednesday. Now this is going to be very dependent on this cold front. You can see a frontal boundary right here. Here's this area low pressure, a little sneaky little thing here. Uh, gradient setting up just like this. This area low pressure is going to lie or ride along that gradient. Now, depending on where this sets up, will be key in determining rain versus snow. Right now, we think this is going to stay a little bit to our north here, which will bring us on the warmer side uh, of things and give us some rain here on uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday. We're going to have to watch this closely, though. Uh, this is the latest GFS depiction. You can see northern areas getting into some uh, some mixed precipitation here, maybe even some snow back in the central PA. If this, in fact, uh, the gradient sets up a little bit further south, that gradient sets up like this, low pressure moves a little bit further south, and you can have some problems up here in the northwest sections. These are the snow-starved areas here for the season uh, that are really haven't gotten into much snow. And then the system pulls away, it would be a rain that's changing the snow situation if that were to occur. A lot of times, to, a lot of time to work with this yet. Again, we're favoring rain with this. Even though this model here is showing rain to snow, still favoring rain for this situation. We'll narrow it down over the next couple of days as we get a little bit closer. Trends have been to pull, this, uh, pull systems northwest this season as we get closer to the event. So I would uh, definitely side with an area low pressure kind of heading up in this direction here, which will make it a no-brainer across our entire area that this whole area would be rain at that point. But we have plenty of time to look at it, and we'll look at that over the next couple of days. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for February 26, 2016. Have a great Friday.